Hello. Hello. <laughs> what, are you, what are you like? I said I was just doing a nice Instagram and getting lots of people to come over and then we've taken ages to actually turn on. So if you've been waiting for us and it's your first time on here from Instagram, welcome. Hit the subscribe button if this is your first time here so you never miss us. I am going to kick off this morning with a very important debate. This one yesterday did a terrible thing. Tell them what you did. I went and got some um, treats because we were all feeling a bit down. Um, and I bought some uh, These days, wagon wheels. Many people are wondering, wagon wheels. Wagon wheels. Discuss. How. Were they ever this small, no, first no, of no, all? No, no, no. And they were in I silver mean, or gold packets. They were about. Right. They were the size of a wagon wheel. Look, epic inside, apparently. So, everyone, everyone says that it's because we were smaller that we thought they were big. But when I did the documentary about sweet, no, they sweet were proved bigger. that they are actually. A so, lot so last night, so yesterday, had a proper row with the family. I bit into it and was m mortally disappointed because there was no jam in it. So I said, there was always jam in wagon wheels. Why is there no jam? No, there is, there's never been jam in wagon wheels. Mum, you just never know any of these things. It's your memory, blah, blah, blah. So I put it up on my Instagram. Oh my God, so many of you got involved with whether was there ever jam in the wagon wheel. I can't remember what you said, Mark. You didn't think there was, did you? Maddie insisted there wasn't, but there probably wasn't when she was a child. I, th I, do, I do seem to remember there being a slither of red jam in it. Red? I do. Was there jam? Was there jam in a wagon well, wheel? Well, 85% said there was definitely jam in it. Ah. Okay, and then let me just find this follower who sort of- Hit the thumbs up, guys. Um, Let's piss off the haters. I didn't like it with no jam yesterday. I have to say, I didn't like Did it. Did you not? No. Ah. What did you think of it I didn't, yesterday? I didn't. Was it a bit of a disappointment to how you remembered it? Well, can I be brutally honest? I've never liked a wagon. <gasps> I'm not a fan of marshmallow. I found them always like they were tasting of plastic. I found them- You know what you mean. I found them saying. bouncy, tasteless. <laughs> And not fun, 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 fun. Well, anyway, oh, I can't find... I wanted to give her a shout-out name. She cleared it up for me. She said, the blue packets ah. have jam in them. Ah, they did the have those. And the red packets don't. Yeah. See, I mean, look at it. It doesn't... I mean, I remember what I liked about them as a, as a child. Oh, everyone's screaming if yeah. you're not liking wagon wheels. Well, no, and also they're screaming because that's what went up yesterday, our Mark compilation. And guys, thank you so much for asking how I'm feeling. I am feeling better. I'm not feeling great, but I'm feeling better. Um, but thank you. Lots and lots of lovely messages have come through, so thank you very much. Oh. Um, that reminds... Yeah, no, so Oh, it's when, Jacqueline McGrath. So shout out to Jacqueline McGrath, when I was, who cleared up the argument oh, for right. us. Well, when I was a kid, I remember... I, what I liked about the whole thing was that they really ran with the whole cowboy Wild West yeah, thing. Yeah, loved it. Loved the and, ads. And I, I yeah, used to so I cover into the myth. those packed lunch boxes where people would pop them open and they'd have a wagon wheel because my mum would never yeah. have allowed anything yeah. as indulgent, as plastic as a wagon wheel, and I love plastic food. Yeah. Sarah Elliott, that complication was brilliant. What complication? Compilation. Oh, compilation. <laughs> what complication? Um, Anita O'Reilly, thought they tasted like soap. Mm. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I'm, I literally was never a fan. I've never been a fan of marshmallows. Never. Leo, you're so right. Leo, Leo, Leo. Like she's Leo. an artist. Why isn't there a Precisely. wagon wheel on the packet? Was there always a wagon wheel on the packet? I think part of it is probably and to do with the fact... And now another question about wagon wheels. Was there a, pa was there a wagon well, wheel? Well, I seem to remember there were cowboys and Indians, and I think that might have In been... In the ad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you think that was on the packet, and I think out of respect to the Native American Indian, that's probably been removed, they might be wanting to distance themselves from that past. I see. God, I wouldn't have even thought of that. Yeah. God, you uh, are so on everything, aren't not you? Not really. I'm just trying to... I, I just... I, as soon as I see something happen, I just it think, oh, I wonder why it's happening. It You're absolutely right. Can I just quickly say a very sweet shout-out to April Hill? Thank you so much for our lovely, lovely card. Uh, we are... Oh, it's we're so getting lovely, sort of patchy deliveries of things, but as we get them, they're coming through. Uh, a lot of postcards are going out today to lots and lots of followers uh, and family guest members, so... so I love a ton, X Jane. But April, tonics. very sweet message. Thank you. And I love the look of the little birdies. I've been watching birdies do precisely that in our garden so thank you um i keep all of your stuff in a little basket uh orange jacob club says Xander, could eat the whole pack and the mint ones see i only like oh the raisin ones oh my god mark's a raisin club guy i yeah. am a mint and an orange i just yeah. 
God, I'm really trying hard not to open this wagon wheel. No, I don't want the wheel. I do prefer them with the jam, but oh my God, a mint club. Nessie Jeff, we will sing happy birthday at the end. And Mel's If you like welcome. a lot of chocolate on your biscuit, join our club. Do you like the tonics? What are those tea cakes? They're, Love a, them. they're a bit like that, Tonic. aren't they? They're softer. So it's say not that, as say, say, say. Softer. softer. They're not like a chewy mellow. They're like a oh. whole... You sounded like the guy who it's used like to... It's like a cloud. What was the name of the guy who used to do MasterChef years ago? Lloyd oh, Grossman. Lloyd Grossman. That's amazing. I loved him. Soft. Fruit clubs, yeah, that's what Mark likes, a fruit club. There used to be a stagecoach on the old wagon wheels, Tutti Fruit. You're right. You used to love tunnocks. A stagecoach? A stagecoach used to be on that. Right. Yeah. So it probably did have a cowboy on top, didn't it? Uh, Kit Kat. They do. I know lots of people mm. think they don't have the silver Jammy foil dodges. on the Kit Kat, but they do on the two fingered Kit Kats. You still get the silver foil and you can you press do. it and you get the Kit Kat. Do you know what I, 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 you know what I bought the other day? Dark chocolate Kit Kats, mint flavoured. Dark, uh, say that again. Mint flavoured dark chocolate Kit Kats. Yeah, and I went to have a Kit Kat and I, I wanted to hurl <laughs> them in the bin. <laughs> Because I, I bring a, a thing of Kit Kats in, they're gone. Yeah. So if they arrive at nine in the morning, they're gone. They're all gone by half nine. Yeah. So I put them in the truck because I thought Hideous. this would be so funny. It's I wanted to so do a annoying. set up camera yeah, so did. that Mark plunges his hand in to get the Kit Kats yeah. and goes, Dark Mint. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have to get our pleasures wherever we can these days, our little pleasures. Mm. Oh, look at this. Sorry, I've just noticed this come through in the Telegraph. Uh, the royal family, as royal family statement, the royal family has more important things to worry about than the Duke and Duchess no, of Sussex's not a Oprah statement. Winfrey. Buckingham Palace aide said on Monday night as but, the Duke of Edinburgh that's... was transferred to... Yeah, but that's not given official statement. Well, that's that's round that's round the back. Official aids. I mean, I mean. I mean the time. Oh, it's telegraph. The telegraph. Because the, telegraph. Not, no, yeah. the Times has proper connections, don't they, with the royal family? That's what uh, I've been told. Yeah, I mean, I think you're pretty safe bet. I mean, they're clearly trying to say there's other shit going on. Yeah. I mean, you asked the question without wishing to jump back to this. Is the timing of all of this absolutely diabolical Dial. in terms of? And apparently, apparently, Oprah's furious with Harry. Has ITV because won Harry the... did James Corden before her big well, thing came yeah. out. <laughs> But funny. apparently they're not being paid anything for the Oprah one. Right. So it's on ITV at eight pm. So they did win. Monday. They won the. They won the the competition. Million quid. Wow. Okay. Um, but actually, a bit I, of I backlash think... on that is there? Do people think that they shouldn't, or should they, or is there people just? It's, it's I think game, love is everything. It? I think yeah. with everything, there's mixed feelings about it, isn't there? I mean, I think even people that think that it's wrong mm. of whatever channel had got it, they're going to watch it. Well, yeah, and also it. If one doesn't get it, someone else is going to get it. So it's like there's an inevitability to the whole thing, isn't there? Um, so, so yeah, so, I mean, oh, lots and lots of that. news stories coming. Jim Boss that. ordered to stop Zoom exercise classes despite being only one only on. The only one on the site. So he's uh, doing it from his gym, doing oh, his right. Zoom class. Bless him. Oh, come on. These guys are fighting yeah. to stay afloat. Nick Wardle was the only person present when an official from Charnwood Borough Council turned up at his premises to investigate a member of the public complaint. Aren't there some busybodies? Aren't there? I mean, the problem though with busybodying is is that then there are absolute arseholes who go to raves. So you oh, know, it's a very hard balance, isn't it? Germany seeks to send AstraZeneca jabs to over 65s. So Europe's said coming that round. Europe's, Europe's coming round. They're in a blind panic. They're like, why did we ever say this about AstraZeneca? <laughs> no, they're all, we've, they're all, we've, all, we've been hoisted yeah, by our own They're all phoning guitar. each other going, Angela, no. Angela, <laughs> Angela. What the fuck? <laughs> Who sent the memo to knock the AstraZeneca? <laughs> Just because Pfizer's made in Germany, we ain't got any. Uh, Pfizer's made in Germany and they haven't got any because they didn't order any. It's quite funny watching it all kick off, though, isn't it? Oh, my God. We watched and we jumped back in on our favourite Guilty Pleasure series at the moment, Beyond Married at First Sight. Uh, Call My Agent. It's so good. It's so good, especially if you work, obviously, if you work in the performing arts, don't you? So I was just reading something. Sorry, go on. Meet My Agent. Oh, Call My, Call My so Agent. so good. I love it so yeah. much. Yeah. Go on, what were you saying? Do you want to share? It's quite, it's quite noticeable. That you're... No, no, I was just reading because yeah. I like so to read. So much hypocrisy regarding the royal family, Stella, and meeting, meeting with Saudi prince and accepting gifts. All of a sudden, Meghan is evil for doing the same as the rest of them. I roll. Look, I have talked long and hard about the, I feel there is, uh, you know, double standards massively at work here. Double standards. Um, and I'm sick and tired of it. Pixie Patel, that's what I do. I buy biscuits I don't like so the family can have them, but I'm not tempted. 
That's yeah, why I yeah. got. That's, that's why what... I got the wagon wheels. <laughs> I thought don't I don't I don't do I don't. Do Thank that. you. Now I'm lumbered with eating wagon wheels. What's that all about? Oh no, you've got the individually wrapped. What's that all about? I'm making a Biscoff cheesecake. I am not a Biscoff fan. That's why I'm making it. Not like, there you go. Like I, I these days I don't make any puddings for the channel with raisins in because Mark will eat them all. Yeah. Um. So Nicholas Sturgeon is giving her giving her sort of evidence essentially to Holyrood. I don't want to go into the nitty gritty of it because the long and short of it is she's under the gamut. Didn't was she say. was she was she totally honest about her correspondence and what she knew and what she didn't know? Uh, apparently there are eighteen potential counts, but. Forgetting the specifics of the Nicola Sturgeon, which are obviously important, and that's why she's there giving evidence. Are we in a potential situation, can any of our Scottish followers, of Nicola Sturgeon having a, a vote of no confidence? Because if she does have a if, if there is a vote of no confidence passed, she has to step down. Really? Yeah. How uh, close are we to well, this? Well, I, I, I don't know. I, don't I mean, know. I, I, all I know is that Labour members and da -da -da, all, of the Assembly are all waiting to hear what she has to say, and they're going to make their decision based on it. But... Um, could we? I mean, is Sturgeon close to being nudged nudged out? Could mm. this? Could this? Could this? What do people think? Do yeah. people think it's all a bit dodgy? Or what? What? what to, I As, mean, he's raging, isn't he? Uh, what salmon? Oh, yeah, furious. Yeah, it's live on YouTube. I was able. Uh, uh, thank you, Beth Williams. Are you putting the cheesecake on your YouTube? Oh, thank you, Ollie. I'll have a look. Has Nicola Sturgeon lied? None of us are going to suggest. Do we? What do you all think? What do you think? What do yes, you think? Faith, it is great. Faith's saying she's so relieved that furlough has been extended so that her daughter and... Oh, they're in the tourism industry. Yeah, yeah furlough, be furlough being extended is brilliant news. It's being extended until September. I mean, I think it's going to be selective furloughing, you know, targeted furloughing um, uh, and what have you. So uh, I think Lucas Sturgeon is brilliant and doing such a good job. I mean, obviously, you know, here's the thing. I, I mean, I've been massively at times impressed but i'm not a scot so i can't talk intimately about how efficient or effective she is all i do know is with nicola sturgeon you absolutely know where you stand mm. there's no wishy-washiness with nicola mm. she says i think it as some it is. people now again, some people might not like that some people just feel that it's just so extreme and are, are very cross with the going for zero um, COVID, COVID because they're worried that they'll never blooming get out blooming you yeah. know out of the country again and they're desperate so it's very mixed feelings it's very lot of division isn't there in Scotland yeah. but as I say we we don't we just don't know enough about it Ellen says I really hope I really hope she hasn't lied I really fell for her honesty I thought now without wishing to resurrect uh, Married at First Sight and connecting it to every news story could, that's what happens when you've got an addiction could Nicola <laughs> Sturgeon have told Maybe a white line, no more complicated or sinister than Billy saying there was no sweetener. Yeah. Anyone watches the series, you'll know. <laughs> At the moment, what about I the want other to night give goes, Billy the biggest just, hug. You're just going to have to bear with us yeah, for a minute if you're spoilers. not watching Married no. the First Time. What about when he said yesterday, I've drunk my wine. No, you haven't, Billy. Uh, Lies. Lies. I mean, she is the most horrendous woman I have ever ever witnessed on television. Sarah Clemmy. from one other woman that I never met. Sarah Clemmy, we have seen you before. We love you dearly. But MAFS is so boring, I can't believe people like it. Can I just say something now, Sarah Clemmy? What, Sarah? If we were at a dinner party, <laughs> I'd have to sit at the opposite end of the table. Sarah. Sorry, just on that. Oh, my God. Yeah. Leggy Blonde says it's genius TV. I oh, love it. I, I mean, love it. I can't wait. I mean, I'm just trying to get to the end of the day so I can watch it. I wish I could sometimes just watch it in the afternoon. It's the lowest common denominator in many ways but it's very well done, I have yeah. to say. Uh, and it's it's quite, it's, it's fascinating. gobsmacking. Do you know what? For all the bits Human where it goes behavior. really badly, it's, it has actually been very interesting. And, you know, we do a podcast yeah. on, on marriage and how to stay married. And I think it's really interesting to, to watch people that are really just going fully for the experiment. What happens when you fully commit yeah. You know, if you were just dating, you just met with Tinder, do... you would have given up a lot sooner. But because you've given this commitment, then yeah. what are you able to work out? I mean, at the moment, it's Ning and Mark, isn't it, that we're yeah. fascinated by? Because at the yeah. beginning, there is no yeah, look, way yeah. you would have thought that they would have... I definitely think we need to do a house to stay married we just about it. stop saying it. No, I'm not just saying it. We are saying, doing I'm just it. Hang on a minute, I'm just you timing three it. Times. I'm supporting your comment and being kind. <laughs> I'm being backing you up. I'm Mark. not having a go. Did you um, like the Mark compilation, by the way? How hilarious. Billy and the Splendour. Faith Billy Goodman. and the Say Splendor. nothing else. Or Billy. 
Oh, Billy, you love Billy. Hang on. I don't want to give a spoiler, but just I want to see. You know those photos they have of in in America where they show someone before drug abuse and someone after, yeah. and you're like, <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, yes, Billy. Billy. You need Billy before <laughs> marriage and Billy after. What's her name, the woman? I can't remember. Oh my god. Sam. Maybe. Billy and Sam. And it. it We've got to talk about it. There's so much rich pickings. It is. So oh, God, pickings. we should do that. That's really Nanny funny. Nanny Dye's in the room. Do... Hi, Nanny. Oh, there Hi, you Nanny are, Mum. Hi, Nanny Dye. Hi, sweetie. How are you? Can't wait to see you this week. Green Fingered Hell going up soon, Mum. Woohoo! You were, you, were, you were like a dynamo this week. Dynamo. Nanny Dye. We should call you Nanny Dynamo. Nanny Dynamo. Dynamo. Um, so yeah, no, uh, so sturgeon on the rack, furlough extended, so we could see all sorts of, bi it could be a significant day for Scottish politics. And some people often say that we don't focus enough on the regions and the nations. And I think, you know, recognising this is a big moment in Scottish politics mm. um, coming at a point where I personally, from the outside looking in, feel like she's done a very good job um, to of managing Scotland through things, but I know that some people in Scotland don't feel that. But to the outside, it looks like she's very sort of in control of things. Um, I just wanted to share this story. Now we often do nostalgia here, don't we? You've just done wagon wheels. Does, of course, who, you can, Moira. Can you put her name down? Yes. Sixty-seventh birthday. Sixty-seventh. Moira, Moira Instance. Moira Instance. Sixty-seventh. Yeah. Yay. We'll sing Happy to it at the end. We'll sing at the end. Um, who remembers the traditional seaside postcard? Do you remember the traditional seaside postcard? I do. Now, there's a story in the sun today, which was trending quite a lot. Wish, ooh, uh. You know, it's the carry on, isn't it? The carry on, end of the pier kind of entertainment. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, look, everyone does. Newbie here. This is so random, but loving it. Hi, <laughs> Nikita. Hi, Nikita Anderson. Welcome. Can everyone welcome Nikita Anderson, new to the channel? Don't now, forget to subscribe. Now, these Kiss Me Quick, they were called, weren't they? Kiss Me Quick. Uh, seaside postcards. Mm, I used to love them when I was a kid. I thought they were so funny. Oh, are they going to be banned? Well, we told you. We told you yesterday how Colin Mills fears he's going to be cancelled by sensitive youngsters for his bawdy postcard style humour. Now, I don't know where I where I sit on this. <laughs> yeah. So there's one here where there's a woman hammering hammering a sort of you know wind protector mallet and pole. It's too soft, Fred. It won't stay in. Shall I hit it with the mallet? And there's a man looking shot because obviously she's talking about something else. Double entendres, racy British sea cars. But can I, I'm just going to share this thought. My nan and granddad used to take me to Blackpool all the time. I can see how clever they are and how funny they are and how you could argue, oh, they're harmless. They were of a, a... but actually I remember being as a young kid thinking they were really rude. Oh, okay. I remember actually thinking as a young kid when I saw some of them thinking, not having a I political thought, but being, they were always at my eye level in the, in, when you were getting a <laughs> stick of rock. Can we call some up so we can have a look yeah. and see? Yeah, well, there's... Because, you know, one. things are when we look back, like, oh, they were harmless. And then some, when okay. you look at the detail of some stuff. Okay, I'm going to show you a couple of them and you're going to tell us what you think. Here we go. So here's this one. It's too soft, Fred. It won't stay in. Shall I hit it with the mallet? <laughs> <laughs> That's right up your street. Uh, yeah. This is the guy who, who does them and he's worried that he's going to be... that woke protesters are going to knock him out. Uh, check this one out. What do you think of that one, Nads? That's terrible. Absolutely terrible disgusting right no. what about this one blackboard tower isn't as big as i thought it would be either oh that's terrible too isn't it uh what about that one if you feel sick sir use the bag in front of you <gasps> oh god that's terrible too okay this one uh, so Blimey, here's one. my husband can you come back tonight what in my own ruddy time are you kidding mrs <gasps> oh my god they're awful yeah, there you go so, Change my mind. <laughs> but it just shows what we were exposed to and we didn't think anything of it because it was just de rigueur. Do you think carry on? What did you I mean, think, good, guys? Yeah, what do you think? <laughs> Very sexual. I think it's the, you're a back at Ellery Jones. Awful, they're awful. Yeah, yeah. But um, look how much we've changed. We probably wouldn't have just okay, even so, flinched. So I want to ask the next question. Why is there a clear association between the seaside and sex? Because people would go away and have sex by the sea. It's as simple as that, isn't yeah. it? So you go to Crete, Saucy. you go to Crete and you go into the, the shop next to the taverna. Just look at Mar you will Mar find, Malaga and all of that. Yeah, you'll find Malaga. bottle openers, which always has Mallorca. enormous penises bouncing up and yeah. down. Yeah, or big sticks of rocks as penises. Yeah. It's because, it, because it's like people are relaxed. Listen, the worst thing for your sex life is to be overworked 
and, and stressed. Yeah. That's the worst thing for your sex life. That's yeah. what they say. It will ruin your sex. So the idea, you go away, you've chilled out a bit, you're going to get more whoopee. More what? Whoopee. <laughs> the butt of the joke, Silkani says. I don't know if there's a pun in there. <laughs> the butt of the joke is always the women. You're yes. right. You're right. I mean, and that one about the bag. I mean, well, the I one about know, the, the man mallet. with the mallet and the one about Black Bill Black Pier. Yeah, except thing. you've got a it's woman not. in a negligee. Well, he's the butt of the joke in the Blackpool Pier because he's she's all gorgeous and he's sat there shivering about the size of his penis. The come in, my dear, we want to try you in a new position. That's is apt with is, the two old men and with her. That's Harvey oh Weinstein esque. God, that's just shocking. A dirty, it's the whole dirty getaway thing, isn't it? To be honest, on the coast, but on the beach, all that sand. No thanks. I, know sand I don't think it's most... just the dirty getaway. I do think it's also just, it, yeah, affairs, let's go away for the weekend. But it's also just people just going away and relaxing a bit, isn't it? Because, a few beers. But do you know what? About the cockles. <laughs> You're doing it now, aren't you? <laughs> I mean, I'm naturally, my humour is quite seaside yeah. humour. Oh, look, no one's ruder than me and no one's more suggestive than me and you are incredibly carry on. But... I remember as a kid, it was, I have hardwired into me, it, is that most seaside towns for me are a bit seedy because of this. There's a sort of, and you know, I had lovely holidays in Cleveland, up 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 near near Blackpool, you know, used to go there. My nan and granddad live in Bournemouth, but you'd go to all these shops and there'd be all this, all this rudeness. But I think it was, to, I think it's because of, it is particular, particular to the British seaside it as is, well. It is, it is. It's and a moment in history. And I think it's history. because we're more reserved so it's just sort of prodding and poking to get you sort of up for it yeah. a bit. It's a bit naughty, a bit, oh, papa, oh, papa, let's there we go. And papa, oh, papa, everyone knows they all suppose what they want to suppose when they see your um, papa. And when you it do... just gets people going. What, because your cleavage has been created? <laughs> Is that, is that what that bit's all about? Oh, and Papa, oh, and Papa, that's how we go. Do you remember the Kiss oh, Me Papa. Quick photo booth? Yeah, with the hats. With the hats, what were they about? I don't know, a bowler hat with a Kiss Me Quick. Yeah, 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 very, very bizarre. Very weird. Um, so do we think you get the same jokes in the Carry On films? You do, you do dawn the Clary Coats, but do you think one day, eventually, they're going to be shut down? Do you think there's an argument for some of this stuff to just be allowed so that it's a sort of historic somebody, thing? Somebody or? said to me the other day, um, I really resent being made to feel bad, Joe Swash, being made to feel bad about enjoying something at a different time when it was acceptable. Yeah. And I thought, yeah, that's true. Why should we now feel guilty? We can learn from it. And obviously we have, because we're horrified by something we would have just giggled about before. Yeah. But I don't think we should be made to feel guilty about the times. No, we're but Le times. Lior's like, oh my God, my childhood, I never knew that that song was about sex. No, I think she's made it about no, sex made by it. clenching her breasts <laughs> together and swinging them. <laughs> There's a little ditty singing in the city. She's, I'm just saying it's that sort of She's turning it into that. She's turning it into that. Sorry, just messages coming in. I know, messages coming in left, right, oh, and centre. Why you stop messages coming in when we're doing the live? It's uh, very no, distracting. Sorry. Um, carry on, so sexist and cringy when you watch it now. Yeah, I agree. Um, I mean, but it was at the time. But I do sometimes wonder whether we've become so hypersensitive. Can we not carry our own morals and be offended and just choose not to watch them? Yes. I, do, do you know what you I, I mean? I mean, I am torn on it. I am really torn on it. Or do they encourage low-level sexism? But I think we learn from it. High-level sexism. I mean, seeing those again, I've just gone, oh, okay. And I, you know, it's like, what was it somebody was saying the other day? Um, about, oh, slap it. Oh, I can't remember now, but... I mean, Kathleen Finnegan is re-mentioning re Benny Hill. I mean, if you think about oh, what Benny Hill Benny was about... Benny Hill! I mean, I watched that as a child. It was pri it was tea-time entertainment. It really was. Nee, 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 yeah. nee, 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 Slaps on the barman. Boobs going. And Tiz was, I don't know if you remember, they did an offshoot. Do you remember they tried to do a grown-up Tiz was called OTT? And it was on at night. And it was basically Chris Tarrant and Lenny Henry in a studio at night doing Tiz was with women with their boobs out running around. Oh, yeah. I mean, I it was the most ill-considered... But Benny Hill, loved it. Julie Hart. Benny Hill was always gross to me as a child. I mean, it's weird, isn't it? I never liked Benny Hill, I have to say. Because yeah. I just didn't find it funny. Not because I thought it was offensive. I didn't, we didn't know anything was offensive. We didn't know we were being offended. No, no. We were oblivious. Yes, yeah, so and when you, you don't know... And you have consciousness, yeah. 
then it kind of loses all its glam. I mean, I mean, on the buses, Dean has been watching on the buses recently. She said she just wouldn't believe it. Well, that's why I'm surprised they haven't sort of fallen foul of the sort because of... Because I think those are seen as absolute classics, Yeah, but Disney, they? you know, Disney, are, 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 and uh, rightly so in many cases, are, are, are pulling up the Aristocats for representation and, and what have you. Do, you. do you think that the same should be done with carry-on films? High well, I don't know. I, can't, I just don't know. There's a little ditty, the singing in the city. Thank you, Lee. Yeah. Anita... There's a little ditty, the singing in the city. Oh, yeah, Lee. Thank you. Anita O'Reilly says, I think Billy looks like a younger Robin Williams. That's exactly what That's I've what been saying. That's what we keep saying. Yeah, 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 absolutely. How are you, Lee? We'll have to chat later. Yeah. Um, so I, I don't know where I sit on this. On the one hand, they're, they're very funny. They're very, you can oh, recognise how clever Williams. they are. Nan used to put her hands over my eyes when we went past There you go. Person. Apparently Nanny Dice says something but, about Nanny Thelma, but I can't find it. But actually, that's a really good point. I can't remember what the card shop is called. What's the most famous card shop? Is it not a scribbler? But Do you one remember like Athena? That. You go in there, right, and everything is either booze or sex. Just like the worst ever. Now, it's still, okay, it's a bit more politically correct, but it's still pure sex. Yeah. Like, you wouldn't want to take your young child in there. Yeah. It's just different. This is just another way around of doing it. Well, there we go. Anyway, we were kind of wrapping up. So shall we do a, a welcome to Mel's? So this is the part where we sing welcomes and happy birthdays. So if you don't want to hear us singing, then go away. Absolutely. But don't forget to hit the subscribe button first. Mel's. Mel's. Hang on. Mel's, Mel's, Mel's. Mel, what are we doing? A welcome to Mel's. What do you think we're doing? <laughs> just I've just said a well, I've said welcome to Mel's. Mel's, 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 Welcome, Mel's. I just think the place that you started was quite difficult. Because you're never listening. No, no, we used to... Mel's, it was a bit like... OK, well, why don't you sing Nessie Jeff a happy birthday? Happy birthday, Nessie Jeff. Happy birthday, Nessie Jeff. Happy birthday, dear Nessie Jeff. Happy birthday to you. Guys, if you haven't checked out the compilation of my marks, Lee, just check out the compilation of the marks. It's so funny. And all down to the brilliant editor, Gabby Ruse. Brilliant. And Myra Instant, 67. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, dear Moira Instant. Instant. Happy birthday to, to you. you. Have a lovely day, guys. The cook along with me is happening tonight. Uh, group hug, Xander. Uh -huh. And uh, a vlog will be landing later, too. And also, there will be another Meals in Minutes going up today on the main channel. If you didn't see the last one, Prawns Tacos went up day before yesterday. Check it out. It's a lovely meal and it only takes 10 minutes to cook. And have a lovely day, guys. Lots okay. of love. Bye. Bye.